Let's fire it up. Yes, sir. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to episode three, Bird's Eye View of Comfort. Got a busy day. Um, I just checked our schedule using our CRM House Call Pro. Great, you can look at everything on the mobile device. Um, you can schedule, do anything you need to, all from the phone or tablet, so we love it. We've been with it since day one in 2017. But we've got a busy day, like I said. Um, we've got an install crew. They are gonna be hopping on. We've got a silver package T-Birds comfort system going in. 15.2 sear, split four ton heat pump. So I won't be catching any of those shots, but I'll put in some pictures. I will be joining Josh on a rare pool heater service call. We don't market or advertise as servicing pool heaters, but in this case, I want to talk about the power of relationships and business. Back on episode one, Robin at Staples, um, when we picked up our vouchers from the print marketing, she told me about her getting ready to purchase a house and then the, her realtor would be reaching out. Well, the realtor reached out. We scheduled an HVAC inspection for the property Robin's looking to purchase. And then the realtor said, hey, can y'all come service my pool heater? I live right up in Salisbury, which is um, just about 20 minutes north here of our shop in Concord. I said, sure, let's do it. So that should be good. Not sure if it's a heat pump or gas type, but we'll definitely get some shots on that. Yeah, that just shows what the power of uh, business relationships can do. And who knows, maybe we'll start advertising for a pool heater service. So definitely the type of clientele, if you own a pool, right, you're gonna have a house with multiple HVAC units. So it's a good idea. I'll also be picking up my truck from my guy, Frank. He's been our detailer for years now. I'm gonna be picking that up. He removed the vinyl and prepared um, for the full wrap. So super hyped about that. And then you see I'm in a number nine shirt because we are going to my buddy Nigel's, driver of the number nine. So we'll be going out there uh, for an initial visit on the first maintenance. He built a home about two years ago. So it's ready for its first maintenance. So we'll check on the builder's grade Linux. We did not install, but you know, I'm not a fan of Linux, but we're gonna clean them up and check them up and see what's going on. We'll also be able to look at the mini split install that we did for his man cave down in the basement, man cave slash gym. It's a really clean install, so I'll be happy to catch some shots of that for you. Stay tuned for a bird's eye view of comfort. Oh, it's looking clean. You can already see. It's been a long time since I've seen that thing white. Nice, and clean. Like it, like it. nice. My guy Frank, we've been using him for a yeah, few years <laughs> with the detail work. Yeah, Shout man. out to Frank. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen this thing white. Check this thing out though. This is a new Toyota Sequoia's here, right next to the Concord CSI van. But this thing looks clean. My dad used to have a Sequoia back in the day. This thing's fresh, fresh out the dealer. Not bad looking, not bad looking. All right, so we just got here. We're at Who Did That Vinyl Wrap. Dropping off to guy Jeremy. He's been taking care of our fleet here. So just a little bit about this truck. I've had it for three years now. Love it. It's a Chevy Colorado ZR2 2020. So this is the first time in three years I've seen this thing back to stock. Um, I did add some tires on here. The wheels are still stock, but it's got the little baby diesel 2.8 duramax and we're about to hit 50,000 miles on this one but we, here's the vinyl back here um, but shout out to prolific design on the um, wrap design and then trade wraps for producing the vinyl and who did that for the install all right so next time you guys see this it will be transformed i'm super excited so Stay tuned for next episode, we will do the reveal. Since my truck is in the wrap shop, I get the pleasure of driving service van here. This one's probably gonna be last to get wrapped just because it is empty. So we are hiring for service tech. If anybody's interested, local to the greater Charlotte area, just hit us up. Just pulled up to this home in historic Salisbury to look at a pool heater. And you'll see behind me, this client has quite the uh, Volkswagen collection. This one's you don't see every day. Volkswagen Transporter. And we got the classic Beetles. Wow, look at that. Got a freshly washed van. Josh took the time yesterday. We blocked them off some time in the afternoon to wash. Looking clean. All right, so we found a gas-powered pool heater for an indoor pool here. 
do smell a hint of gas. See what we got on the stats down here. Do we have pilot or is it spark? Hot spark surface ignition. spark ignition. Okay, that means we'll be checking for voltage going to it. I think there might. Is there other ways to test it? Because you can check ohms on your hot surface. I'm not sure about testing spark without. Power. I think it's just either it's got it or it doesn't. Just checking some safety switches. We've got a rollout, high limit, all very key for safe operation of any gas appliance, especially furnaces or heaters. All right, so we got the top box here. Lots of junk in there. Wow. It's dirty, huh? <laughs> A little dirty. I have a blower. Should I get a blower and blow it out? Yeah, I have a vacuum and a blower. And I'll take care of everything for you. Oh, okay. So we mounted it to where we could test. See what happens here. So we heard some gas and nothing from the igniter. Not a very easy unit to service. I mean, that igniter is going pretty deep up there. We may have to take this apart some more to keep further diagnostic. Got a spark igniter control transformer. All kinds of good stuff. All right, so after some more diagnostic, um, we're gonna have to narrow it down between the igniter or the igniter um, ignition module control board. It's really hard on these spark igniters to tell if it's you know the igniter because it's. It's not like a hot surface igniter where you can test for 120 going to it. So we're going to do some further diagnostics and see where we land. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, this thing's in pretty rough shape, but might be able to bring it back to life. We will see. So the one code online is telling us open limit or safety. Uh, we did test all the safeties that we could see. We can see if we didn't miss anyone that's hiding around somewhere. With that, if all the safeties test good manually, then probably leaning more towards the... Um, module there being faulty but we'll keep digging so where do we test for volts here where did you test for volts Underneath. all right so we only got 50 volts coming out of the uh, module there so it's looking like that's the culprit okay so we were able to find some parts uh, we were able to find the control module. This home was built in 1996, so that looks to be, I have to do a little digging with the serial number, but based on the visual aspect of it, that looks to be the original uh, pool heater with the home. So we're gonna give the option to do the repair, but we're also gonna quote out a new um, pool heater. So that would be the best option in this case. Parts, uh, you know, parts warranty, labor warranty, and some guarantees to go with it. So we'll give some options out here in a little bit and then um, see where they want to go. We're also going to offer a free um, AC inspection so we can do that when we return because we got called out here for the 
pool heater so we take care of that problem first but then we also offer other um, services that we offer you know so we can add value and um, you know if we offer a free AC inspection with the work that we do on the pool heater that brings value to what the clients getting and um, gives a good new relationship for us to come back out and keep servicing the ACs so we're gonna get these options over and I am gonna meet up with Christian on another call We'll see you in a little bit. All right, just pulled up to my good buddy Nigel's house. Christian should be any minute here. We're gonna knock out the first maintenance visit for his home. He built the house about two years ago, so this is the first time um, anyone's done a maintenance, checked these units out. We did not install them. The builder installed them. They are two Linux units, so fingers crossed for him that we don't find any leaking EVAP coils because that seemed to be the trend of last summer was uh, Linux coils leaking, cylinder parts warranty, and um, yeah, don't even get me started about Linux, but it's all good. We service all brands, so no worries. We'll take care of it. I got a quick update from Josh on that pool heater client. Uh, we gave repair and replacement option, and they decided to just hold off. It wasn't something that was high priority, which is understandable. Pool heater is not an emergency service by any means, so no worries. We still um, enjoyed getting out for the uh, footage, and we will be back you know for any need they have with HVAC in the future and we'll be able to check out the two head mini split system that we put in for Nigel's basement um, he finished his basement and I'll put in some before uh, pictures here of the process and the install I'll clip those in but first time I'll be out on site checking this job out you know what's funny about the duckless stuff is it used to intimidate us um, you know it still may intimidate a lot of people but it's something that we have to adapt you know you always got to be willing to accept change and one of the things is duckless is becoming more popular um i remember the first one we did 2018 me and josh put one in and man it was it was a bit intimidating and we definitely have came a long way since then in our knowledge of duckless and i would say now we're duckless experts i mean if you look back at episode one we checked out the one we uh, install for a client and we had to bring the lift in and do the intricate line set and this one was pretty um, pretty big scope of work too you know two heads in a basement that was unfinished so now I would consider us experts in duckless so if you need any duckless work give us a call or book online our number 704-706-4881 or www.tbirdhvac.com so Christian just rolled up let's get some shots of this maintenance service and the install from last year get the cleanness man makes the old one look so bad there he is what you eating man Nigel I got two birds in this bitch <laughs> what's up are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. All right, let's see what we got around the corner here. Two Linux heat pumps. So we've got downstairs, upstairs. Cool. We got 14 sear, two and a half ton. We got a dog in the window. Hey, dog. <laughs> and then we've got upstairs should be, oh, yep. 14 seater, two ton. All right. All right, here's our Daikin um, duckless that we put in. It is actually running right now. He said it's in dehumidity. So that's very quiet. Very quiet machine. Um, it's two heads inside. So we will check out uh, more of that inside. And we just put it in, so it doesn't really need anything besides a little <laughs> landscaping work. You got hurt What's up, dog? Oh, he's got her leg. Oh. Oh. See, it's cold in here. Oh, we're in the man cave now. <laughs> we're here. Let's check out. Where do we put the head units? Man, this place is nice. Last time I was in here, it was unfinished. We get on some iRacing, man. So there's one. Yep. Shout out to Agent 89 and shout out to the man. <laughs> Second head unit for the gym area. Very nice, clean work. I will chop some footage in of the before. It was unfinished and we did the install. Got a few pics on file with our CRM House Call Pro. 
All right, we put the we put the right sticker on there. That's right, T-Bird HVAC taking over this unit. Find anything, Christian? No, refrigerants look good. One one unit. We got. Well, I haven't so we got, checked the, the electrical yet. Haven't checked the electrical yet, but charges look good. They do. They it's do. like a it's, it's 77 degrees here today, so just about warm enough to check a charge. All right, we checked some inrush amperage. We started the unit up. It locked out at 50. Three, what we what we rated at? We are 52. Look at that. Well, she's pulling too much in. Just a little. Indoor unit for downstairs in the basement, feeding the first floor. Air handler vertical style. Not too bad. There is no primary drain safety switch. That's one observation. We'll check it out. Flush the drain line. Is there a clear out spot? Yeah. Hopefully, yep. hopefully they didn't glue that top on. We got the original uh, Carolina Gunslinger. Go home. Another picture of the T-Bird machine. We did this in 2020, uh, ran through 2021. But he sold this one and got a new one. So we're gonna be looking to do the new design on his new ride soon. Here you go, upstairs return. We got Scuttle Hole, our favorite. Don't worry, we got the ladder. Honeywell T4. All right, we got a little Horizontal air handler action up here. Another no primary drain safety. Yep. Come on. Shame. Gotta, gotta protect these drain pans. We'll flush it, check some electrical. Overall, not much going on on these um, newer units. So we'll get this done, wash the coils, and write up some options. So it does say there, notice clean coils using water only. So we won't be using any. Okay, I got um, cleaning spray today just water you know these systems are so new they really honestly could go without a cleaning but we are gonna wash them we're gonna wash them down and um, after that we'll get some options here's some things we can add here to improve we can do surge protection uh, we can do filter boxes primary drain safeties all right stay tuned for a little more action gonna try to get the um, Try to get um, Nigel to fire up the, the race car for us. There it is, the new number nine. Which if all goes well, should be getting wrapped up by T-Birds. Sponsors, been a long time supporter of the Nigel Racing. He started in the flat carts, you can see on there. That had to be what, 2018? 2018. 2018. <laughs> so it came a long way, man. Proud of Nigel. Look at that. 29. Harvick, baby. That's the original number nine. Original number nine, T-Birds. Let's fire it up. Nice. That's 600 cc right there, correct? Yep. This is considered a micro sprint. He races, where, where do you race? Millbridge Speedway. Millbridge Speedway. That's Rowan County right outside Salisbury. If you want to support also, you can go on T-Birds Vintage. You can go on T-Birds Vintage. I know this is the old cart, but we still got uh, tees, so. That's one way to support the grassroots racing fund of Nigel. The old wing off the old ride there. He doesn't race much with the wings on, it's usually non-winged. We'll have to get this T-Bird squad out of the race soon. Here's our option sheet for Nigel. Um, we got easy starts. We did notice the one unit was right just above the amp rating. So easy starts a good option to uh, prolong the compressor. Then we got two ceiling savers and um, some pretty easy levels. The level one is a filter media box. So that can be installed to each air handler, make filter changes a lot less often and get a lot more service area to catch. And then the level four is our 
Remy Halo whole home air purifier system. So, all right, so we're gonna go this with Nigel and then I've got to head out to um, back to the office. All right, so we presented some options to Nigel. Um, he's gonna hold off on stuff for now, which none of it was, you know, must do urgent stuff, but always stuff you can add down the line. Um, the poor dog Miller has a partially torn ACL, so they've got to worry about that stuff first. So best wishes on recovery to the dog. And um, as far as for me, I'm headed back to the office and then I'll be going down to Charlotte um, for Charlotte Home Builders Association. I'm a new member of that. So I'll be doing a little social couple hours down there at um, a bar and they'll have some dinner for us some pizza and we'll be socializing so i'm not going to bring the camera along for that but if anything cool happens or i have any good networking discussions i'll let y'all know on the uh, next episode and yeah i just got a text from our electrician that he's wrapped up up on that install for today so they should be closing it out um here soon it's 3 15 so i'm expecting install crew to be done here in the next hour or so and uh yeah, really good day today. We still got a couple service calls left, so still time to get some more action in for the guys. But as far as this vlog, that wraps it up. So thanks for joining me for Bird's Eye View of Comfort, and we'll see you on the next one.